Hello and welcome to this video tu tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to model a computer. And before I start, I must tell you that I'm using my my own computer as a as a starting point. I will actually model my computer. It's always good to have uh, some reference photos because you want you need to know what you model. So I don't have a reference photo because the computer is standing right next to me and I will, I will look at it as a reference. But you can use your own or a reference photo. Okay, in this tutorial, in this part, I will just show you how to model every part from the, fa uh, from the front of the computer. The back I will leave for later on. And in the next tutorial I will show you how to arrange them. Because now I just arrange them by view because I don't have enough time to do that. Okay, let's start. I have here my default scene with a cube. Okay, I will select it and just press N and enter the dimensions. I have here my dimensions and I will make uh, the x axis be, uh, let's just see, 20, actually 2. Because it's 20 centimeters, so 2 is right. The Y uh, is 37, actually, sorry, 3.7, and the height is uh, 40. Oh, damn, 4. Okay. Now, this will be my base, my base, the base for my computer. Okay, 5 to go to orthographic view. All right, and now I will just start to model the front of this. So first I just select this face and delete it because I don't need it for the moment. Okay, and I'll start modeling. First I will add a plane, put it around X, oh sorry, R X 90 degrees. Okay, and I will bring it oh, about there. Okay, I'll just rotate around uh, Z again 90 degrees and take it about here and there. All right. Actually, I will just snap this object because I need some. Tab. I need some. How do you call it? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Control Shift Tab and switch the snap type to vertex. Grab along along Y and hold Control to snap it to that point. Okay, that will be fine. And the Y. No, actually these dimensions are quite, quite twisted. So this one, I'll make it 0 0.3. And just snap it again to that point. Grab along Y, holding control, snap to there, 7. Grab along X, Ctrl snap to there. All right, then we'll be fine. I'll press one and go into edit mode. Select the bottom vertices. Please notice that I'm using the box select and I'm in wireframe mode, so the back vertices also selects. Okay, grab along Z to that point. Okay, now I will press seven. And I will start modeling it. And we'll see how this will look. First, just let me go into right orthographic, control R, add the loop cut in here. No. Okay, control R, and move it to about there. Add another one, another one and another one in 
here and I think that will be fine now plus 7 and just twist this around just like this use box select and I will just twist this part okay a little more all right just something like that I, I guess that's that's just fine okay now seven now tap out of edit mode and we're almost done with this just uh, I'll just do this now go here at the bottom tab into edit mode and add add some loop cuts in here let's just say one two three and I guess four will be fine and now three z just select these three x delete them delete these ones as well box select and delete them and this one and now just make some faces in here notice that I'm I'm actually getting some triangle triangles in here it's never good to have triangles in your scene uh, especially because when you animate it it will cause a lot of a lot of problems but this is just a corner and it doesn't really matter that much we only have some triangles in here and there so just keep in mind that it's not good to have triangles in your scene okay and I think one more okay so the same thing in here X delete them delete and this will be straight I have to make faces till you get something like that good that's fine and now tap out of edit mode and you see this origin point it needs to be in the center so just select this one and the cursor is already there but if it is not just shift us and cursor to select it so it will it will move there the cursor now select this one and here we have origin just press it and origin to uh, to 3d cursor now we can just go to the modifier panel and add uh, where is it? the mirror modifier okay not along x along y no along z so we have another one on this side okay <clears throat> Alright, so, so that will be good. Then add another, add another modifier, modifier which will be the solidify modifier. Okay, so it will have some thickness. Let's just see. I think seven. And yeah, I'll just make sure it's inward. The solidify needs inward. If it is not just move this from minus to from negative to positive or whatever okay let's just see I think point one five will be better and just select even thickness and high quality for a better solidifying okay the, this one is finished I will continue with some just some kind of plate in here so I'll just add a plane object 
rotate around x 90 degrees okay three all right till about there down and I will just scale along Z to be something like that uh, I think that's fine I guess I'll scale along X till about there and grab it till it's about half of the of the height okay that's fine now what I <coughs> what I plan on doing here I just show you tab into edit mode just select all and extrude till about here scale down along Z till something like that and just box it in these top bottom vertices extrude them down on this axis uh, till about there no, something like that and also select this one alright oh wait I just do something else just select these bottom ones and grab them till about here okay and just extrude them again on the z axis to them again on the y and snap snap to that point and just take them just take them down till about there all right uh, okay so let me just check Okay, now select these vertices in here and make a face because you don't have, sorry, control Z, deselect that one and make a face. Same on the other side. Select them and just make a face. Alright. Now, for this one, I'll just add an array modifier which I will just fix it on the next video tutorial so just leave it like that for now we just need to have some point of view on that just some view on till where we need to uh, to model that this uh, this top size okay Top, I don't know what I call it. Okay, now just add a cube. Uh, sorry for my bad English. And uh, the width is fine for now. And just take it here and scale along. Y till it's something like that. All right, now scale along Z. Okay, something like that. Uh, X. Okay, so we need just one, two, three, four plates in here so I will just scale it down a little okay maybe too much now duplicate it and move it on the z axis duplicate it again and this will be a lot thinner I guess something like that would be fine and no, actually we need to make them larger. Okay, something like that. Now just duplicate it so we have the same size. Alright, then just duplicate it again. 
one, two, three. Yeah, three. One, two, three. Actually, I have four on my computer. So I just duplicate it again. Okay. This one needed to be till about there. You could just measure that and make it look good, but I'll just scale it down a little so it would fit. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't matter for now. That is so. Okay, so small. In fact, I'll just twist these ones. Okay, because I just looked at my computer and it's something like this. Alright. It will be fine for now. And now let's just model this top size. Tip the off size. I keep saying size, I don't know why. This top part, sorry for that. Add a, for now, let's just add a plane. Okay, rotate around x 90 degrees and three. Grab that one till about there. <coughs> rotate around which one? Let me see. X. Okay, so you didn't need to rotate around X. For this plane, this plane, sorry. Grab along with Z. Okay. Now tap into edit mode and let's just snap these vertices. Okay. Be sure we select the back one as well. Grab along Y till about there. And now I will quickly model it. Model this. Snap it. There, then extrude along Y, extrude along Z, extrude along Y, grab along Z, and then extrude again along Z, and grab along Y. Okay, extrude one more time along Z axis and grab along y axis so we have something like that okay now i'll just quickly see, uh, do this thing seven this select all and select the top two scale them on the x X till about there. Uh, no. Same thing in here. Oh wait, I didn't place it right. So I'll just do this for every part for each side. Okay, grab along gigs. I yeah, missed one there. It doesn't matter because it is not curved. All right, grab along X. Let me just watch 90 minutes. Okay. All right. Just do the same thing in here for these ones. X. And that's fine. Now next thing we are going to do just cut it. So control R, add tool cuts, 
select this loop cut and scale along x0 select this one scale along x0 and now select them both by alt right clicking and the, the other one by shift alt right clicking and scale them on the x till about there Okay, and I will just select these ones in here. X delete faces. Okay, in fact, I'll delete this one too. And select this one is in here and just extrude them along Y still about there also make a face in here no in here same here make a face okay just take it back a little more till about there that will be fine and now I just need some buttons. I call them bottoms. Button. No. A button in here. And this plate in here. Which I will continue on the on the next tutorial because I don't want to make them so long, about 20 minutes each at max. So see you on the part two.